Double noggin knocker. Jeff Hart! Oh, my These videos are satiric reviews. You don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. Hey there, I'm Social Injustice Warrior V and Fuso. And do you remember the team of Eminem? It was a team that consisted of Melina, Joey Mercury, and Johnny Nitro. Also known as John Morrison. Also known as Johnny Mundo. Also known as Johnny Impact. Also known as Johnny whatever last name vaguely applies to the company I'm working for. And I don't know about you, but me personally, I love these guys. They were nobodies who thought they were somebodies, who bought into their own self-promotion Hollywood hype. The team was wildly successful during their time in the WWE, managing to win the tag team titles on their debut match against Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. And I would get into them more, I would talk more about them, but let's save that for a video for a different day. Eventually, and unfortunately, the team would break up, with Nitro and Molina remaining an item both on and off screen. A much more successful, beloved tag team, known for the insane death-defying moves they do in the ring, and out of the ring, and off ladders, and onto tables, and you get the point. The Hardy Boys, or known then as the Hardys, because, you know, they weren't solving mysteries, would return to the company. They used their bodies as weapons and had ragdoll physics and boomerang reactions. And they are undoubtedly one of the most memorable tag teams of all time. I'm sure I've covered them on this channel quite a few times. They come up. Nitro at the time would engage in a feud with Jeff Hardy for the Intercontinental Championship, with Joey Mercury returning and reuniting with his former partner to even the odds and take on the brothers. The teams actually had some pretty good matches against each other, and it was interesting to see one of the most over-tag acts of the Attitude Era to take on one of the most over-tag acts from... whatever this era was called. Does this count as ruthless aggression? I want to say ruthless aggression, but I, I'm probably wrong. Sometimes these teams exhibited good chemistry, but we're not here to talk about their chemistry or even their in-ring work with each other. We're here to talk about something that happened during their in-ring work with each other. Eventually, the two teams would compete against each other, the modern rockers London and Kendrick, and the less modern in general, Dave Taylor and William Regal. And the one thing I remember from this match was that Dave and William both had a fear of heights, and despite on occasion knocking down their opponents, they would look up and hesitate to climb the ladder. That's some good comedy there. Ah, uh, British men and their fear of heights. Very well known fact. Don't even ask me how they made Big Ben. Don't even, it, that's a story. It was the same match that had this cell in it. This is what championships is about. This is what it's all about. Oh yeah, and then I guess some people remember this match because, um, because this happened. Double noggin knocker. When setting Joey Mercury up for the devastating seesaw, the ladder went straight up into Mercury's face, breaking his nose and his orbital bone in the process. Joey would have to get more than 30 stitches, and he wasn't even able to finish the match, which caused Nitro to wrestle at a disadvantage without a partner. But I'd leave too if I had a ladder strike me in the head and cause me to look like Two-Face. The most humiliating thing about this must have been trying to explain to the doctors at the ER that you look like you lost half your face to a move called the Seesaw. Luckily, this wouldn't end Joey Mercury's career, as he'd return weeks later, now with a protective face mask. Ultimately, this just serves as another precautionary tale about how a quote-unquote fake sport can dish out very real injuries. So with that being said, I'm the Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole and you too want to become a VTARD, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more where this video came from. Follow me on Twitter because, hell, why not? It's not considered stalking if it's on the internet, am I right? And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't have anything catchy to add to that, but just, just join it. Just go, go do it. And if you have a free moment of time and a free dollar to spare, then head over to my Patreon, where for just one buck, you too could help keep this boat afloat. And if you don't have that dollar, but you do have a free moment of time, then hit the share button. It will help me out tremendously.
the V-Tart. Oh. 